Welcome back. If you're looking for something meaningful to read to the kids, a new book just hit shelves. It's called A Star in the Day Still Shines. Malik sat down with the St. Louis author to learn about the inspiration behind the book. Hi. Hey, Dana. So I have had the opportunity to check out uh, most of his books that he's made, and uh, his latest book is uh, just as great as the last. And so they're all inspir uh, inspiring. And so you guys, have got, guys, we've got to check the story out and um, learn more about his story. There are millions of authors scattered around the world. For Jeremy Watson, it's understood why. It is an outlet for us to express some of those emotions that are often hidden. Jeremy began writing as a child, finding it to be his first love. Journaling was my first love I learned. I began to write my feelings and express my emotions, and that was kind of an outlet for me, was journaling, and it just progressed into writing. It wouldn't be until 2019 that he wrote and published his first book. It was after my youngest son, Ian, left my wife and I a note that said, thank God for making people with color, because without color, people would be, the world would be blank like paper. A note so powerful, sparking a children's book out of Watson later continuing with more. I have, uh, since 2019, I've just self-published my fifth book. All pertaining to his family. Um, I started off in September 2019 and I released If the World Was Without Color, dedicated to my youngest son, Ian. Right after that, I released Dance As He Dance, which is dedicated to my youngest daughter, Israel, his twin. Um, after that, I released The Beach, which is dedicated to my oldest daughter. I wrote a book called What is Pretty, a book of affirmations, and that's a book that's dedicated to my daughters and, uh, and some of the important women in my life. His fifth book was just released and it's shaped around his son. I published my latest book dedicated to my oldest son. He's been very patient and waiting for me to release his book. Um, this book has actually been done for over a year and a half and I just decided to release it after making a few tweaks. Um, but A Star in the Day Still Shine, again, is dedicated to my oldest son, Zion, and also features my youngest son, Ian. The book is a conversation between the two brothers. I'm about a bullying incident that Ian witnessed at school. Um, Ian is having a conversation with his brother and explaining to him that not only did he witness this, his friends bullying another student, that he actually considered joining in on the bullying so that he would feel a part of the crew. The narration takes sort of a poetic look into getting the point across. Um, so it's a book about influence. It's a book about the power of peer pressure. It's a book about the power of words and using all of those things to uplift and encourage one another. So. Watson's books have been a huge success selling hundreds of copies across the country. What draws people in is the fact that they can relate. Also, readers can also engage when reading is done with the full section for writing prompts. At the end of each of my books, there is there are conversational writing prompts. And so this book has uh, conversational writing prompts where you're asking the child specific questions about what influences them. What is a negative influence versus what is a positive influence? And again, it's just opening up a dialogue between the parent and the child to talk about some really impactful things that sometimes we don't get a chance to talk about. You guys can check out his book by visiting Amazon.com. You can also check it out at Walmart.com. He is working on getting his books in stores, so that will be coming soon. Um, give him a follow on Instagram as well. Dana, um, like I said, I had a chance to read some of his books. They're very inspiring, and his latest book is just puts the icing on top. I'm excited for more. Yeah, and as a parent, I love that he has a book for each of his kids. That's, that's so sweet. Well, thanks, right. Malik.